Welcome lads, today we're looking at Roman Armenko Hero Card 82 rating. He's got 80 pace, 84 shooting, 88 passing, 87 dribbling and 80 physical. This is an all round just amazing cards. Five of the six stats are all in the 80s, who cares about the defending? I played him at Chem and he was just absolutely on another level. He's got great work rates at medium, medium, three star weak foot, four star skill moves. I can't really think of a con for this guy. I mean, the only con is he plays in the Russian league, but that's not really a biggest problem in the world. But everything else, I mean, he's good, fast enough. He can score goals. His passing is on another level. His dribbling is amazing. And the stat that really stands out to me is that 80 physical. So he's like, you know, he's just the greatest midfielder you can really buy. And he's dirt cheap. I paid 14k for him. Like, no joke. If you want a Russian league team or you just want a good team, I would have Erminko in your team. Anyways, let's check out the in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got 88 ball control, 88 curve, 89 dribbling, 80 finishing. Like, just amazing finishing from midfielder. 94 long shots. Like, this lad can just bang it. Pretty good long passing as well at 86. Amazing short passing at 91. Just out of this world shot power at 89. Like, this card just is amazing. Everything about him is just, like, honestly, gameplay-wise, there are no cons. Looking at his physical stats, though, he's got 84 acceleration, 80 agility, 81 balance, 87 jumping. Just, oh, he's a little weak, like 76 strength, but that is not that weak considering how good he is. I mean, his sprint speed is uh, at 75, but I always prefer having a higher acceleration in a player than a higher sprint speed. He's got pretty good attacking positioning, but I felt that he was always where I wanted him. If I need to lay it off, he was there. If I needed him to make a run in behind, he was there. Like, I know it says 81, but I've that was more like around 85, 90. He's got pretty good vision at 92. Anyways, I talked about the stats. Now let's just jump into the highlights and see how he plays in real game FIFA. As you can see here, he picks it up, does a lovely fake shot, gets through, and he's got his left foot, and he pretty good left foot shot for him. Picks it up here again, and well, he tries to score an amazing goal, and it didn't quite work out for him, but he's got the ability to score one. And then he scores this. Absolutely just hit the ball true and it just banged in goalie no chance i talked about his shot power earlier but just watch this fake shot bang boom goalie no chance just flew right by him here he just picks it up does one move does another move and when he gets that close there is just no stopping him there's no stopping most players when you get that close but his shot power that's a stat that really kind of stood out to me like his shot power was just so incredible he was just so much fun just to take these absolute blasts with. Just look at this. Like, the only other player I've had more fun shooting the ball with was Harry Kane. And he gets in here and, well, he should score that, honestly. But he's only got three-star weak foot. And that's kind of the uh, little thing, little gripes I have with him. I mean, look at that. But then he bangs in a four, like a three-star weak foot shot right there. Like, there's no tomorrow. So, he's got the skill moves as well. Like... I don't necessarily use too many four-star skill moves. I like my ball rolls, my body feints. But if you're a player that loves those skill moves, four-star, five-star, well, four-star, he's your player. Like, everything about him is just amazing. And he's trying to score an overhead kick there. Like, what is he even attempting? It didn't go in, but still. And the pace here. This is kind of just showing you what, you know, that's against Raphael Varane, who is not a slow defender at the best of times. And his pace was just so incredible there. And it is the whole game. Like, he bursts through people like there is literally no tomorrow. He is that good when it comes to pace. Like, he's not that fast, but I think his pace felt more like an 84 or an 83. Now, I warn you, this penalty went absolutely wrong. I don't know what happened. I hit it in the red, so it's not really a direct uh, junction of how bad or good his penalties are. I mean, a penalty most players can score on. There's nothing really special about it. But just look at that pace. I mean, just he's just doing people for days. And he's just like, no, not having any of it. I'm going to get through and I'm going to score a lovely, beautiful goal. He scored, I played four games with him and I scored four goals and I got one assist. Like, if I can get that kind of return rate from a midfielder, he is a cert for my team. Anyways, that's the end of this video. This card is amazing. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, smash that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter at FIFA Wisdom. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.